This is Barnyard Willy, aka the Vanilla Ninja, and this is PS2 Hidden Gems. <laughs> is he putting a fucking dick on my back or something? <laughs> That's amazing. So, first on my list of hidden gems for the PS2, uh, a little game called. Cold fear. Something's out there. Very similar to a Resident Evil type style game. Basically what happens is you get a distress signal. You're a Coast Guard, an old Russian whaler. Are you a seaman? Seaman come in later. So what happens is you have to go on the ship and investigate and see what's going on and find a bunch of like mutants and you're trying to figure out what caused all this. And another thing that's cool about this game is when you when you're outside on the deck and stuff you have to worry about the ship rocking too so it's not just the creatures you have to worry about it's a lot of jump scares there's a lot of uh like i said the creatures just keep getting bigger scarier and faster <laughs> what it's definitely worth picking up and the good thing about this too you can get this on the cheap what are you laughing buzzy huh what are you laughing for it's the fifth time you said that's another good thing. <laughs> so next on my Hidden Gems list is probably, I would say, my favorite platformer on the whole system. This game is the best platformer, hands down, on the system. Maximo. What? Not afraid of death? There are worse things than death. True, true. <laughs> This is actually a continuation of Ghosts and Goblins. If you've played any of those games, you'll understand what I'm talking about. It doesn't matter which one you play, they're both really good. Army of Zen may be a little better, but as far as a 3D platformer, it's the same, just like, kind of like anything else, it's pretty linear. Shows you basically where to go, you can only go certain directions, but there's a lot of pop-ups you gotta find, just like in the original games. You said linear, can you spell that? Can you say measure? L-I-N-N-E-A-R. I don't know, can you say measure? Measure. <laughs> Oh, you fucking missed! Maximo! Yeah. Got it. Yeah! So I'm gonna tell you about my last hidden gem. But I'm gonna do it while I eat one of these Mad Dog 357 Carolina Reaper peppers. Make sure you eat a big one. The seeds. Make sure you go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, no shit, it's gonna be a little hot. Alright, I think you should, it's hot. Take your shirt off. <laughs> So my last hidden gem. This game's kind of rare. It's a little more on the pricey side. It's not rare. Are you crying? Dude, I'm sweating. Oh, come up here. You gotta let them know you're, you got tears in your eyes. It's you hot. It's <laughs> rare. Dude, it's semi-rare game. What is? Not. It's uncommon at best. Yeah, it's not a rare game. Everyone knows it. Why is it even on your list? What do you, I mean, what, what do you want me to do? What do you, what do you want me to I get? I want you to eat another pepper because you picked a bad game. Are you recording that? <laughs> the game is haunting ground. No. So basically what the premise of the game is, is you're a... Uh, real sexy little blonde right here with these blue eyes. She has a car accident, she wakes up in this, basically it's a castle slash mansion. Yeah. She's trying to figure out why she's there and she's trying to escape the whole time. <laughs> but, part of the way through it, you get the help from a dog. Your nipples hard. You get, the, you get the help from a little dog. Is his head sweaty? <laughs> and if you don't pay attention to your dog, he won't help you out at all. You have no way to attack in this game. <laughs> And to be honest, and I tell you what, there's probably maybe six enemies in this game. Six to eight enemies total. <laughs> so those are my hidden gems for the PS2. Let me know what you guys think, whether you agree, whether you disagree, or let me know a few other ones that you might like too. Did it shock you? And if we get 250 likes in the first two weeks, one of you random likers out there is going to be getting this Presto Griddle. It's still factory sealed CIB. 
That guy <laughs> in little coat. That's why I got it. <laughs> <laughs>